This is Math 98. We're going to take a look at, at adding and subtracting with these radicals, with these square roots. Before we do, I want to remind you of the idea of like terms. So if we had like 3a plus 7a, we know we can combine those using addition because they are both in terms of a. There's 3a's, we add 7a's, we get 10a's. And similarly, if I had something like 3x plus 3y, those terms I'm going to leave separate because these are counting x's, this 3, but this 3 is counting y's. I don't have xy's, so I just have 3x's plus 3y's. So addition, I need like terms in order to, to add things together. Another thing that I want to uh, be reminded about is the difference between this and this. Just remembering that those are not uh, the same thing. They're not equivalent to each other. All right, so thinking about uh, like terms, what we want to have is like like square roots. So for example, if I had a five root threes, plus nine root threes, I have like terms. These are root threes. So I have five of them plus nine of them. I could say, well, that's 14 of them, 14 root threes. So root three, it's not a variable. Right? It's not an X or an A, but it, this idea of like terms that we know from variable can transfer over to these as well, the ways that we add and subtract them. Or if I had something like this, 7 root 5s minus 2 root 5s, uh, 7 minus 2 is 5, that gives me 5 root 5s. And I can you know, keep doing this. Like, Let's say that uh, on this problem that we just did, there was another piece too that was plus... Uh, plus 10 root 5s, right? Now we can add them all together. Now it's 5 plus 10 of them. Now it's 15 of them. So we can string together as much as we want. And notice this um, way of combining things is using addition and subtraction. This isn't multiplication or division. Let's take a peek at these three then. This first one, I have 5 root 6s minus 8 root 6s plus two root threes. Now I have some like terms and I have an unlike term. So these like terms here, I'm gonna combine those. Five of them minus eight of them should be negative three of them. I've got negative three root six, but now this is in terms of root six, that's in terms of root three, so I'm just gonna leave it like this, just like if they were x's and y's. And there they are combined. Now taking a look at this one, I have a root 20, and of a root 5. And it kind of feels like they're different terms. Well, they are, but I can manipulate this first one. Square root of 20, I can simplify that. I know that that is the same as square root of 4 times square root of 5. And square root of 4 is 2. So this is the same as uh, 2 root 5 plus 3 root 5. Oh, they actually are like terms. I actually can combine them. I just have to simplify it first. 2 of them plus 3 of them is 5 of them and I get five root five. I seem fond, fond of five root five today. Uh, this one looks similar looking at it first. Um, looks like I can't combine anything, but root three, I can't simplify, but this, this is nine times three. And the square root of nine is three, so this is three root three plus four root three. Three of them plus four of them is seven of them. All right, three more to take a peek at here. Uh, root 20 minus root 45. Well, let's simplify these. This is four times five. This is nine times five. Oh, that looks good. There's, they're both gonna have a, a root five left over. So notice that square root of four is two, two root five minus square root of nine is three, three root five. Three of them, uh, two of them, minus three of them, them being the root fives, is negative one. So I can write this as negative one root five. You don't really need the negative, you don't need the one out there, just like if it was just an x, you don't need to write one x. So we can just write negative root five. All right, let's give this one a go. This is five root 18. 18 is uh, nine times two. Square root of nine, square root of two. So this would be five times the square root of nine is three times the square root of two. Five times three is 15. So the first term is 15 root two. It's equivalent to 15 root two. 
minus, uh, let's look back to this one, 8 is 4 times 2, square root of 4 is 2, so this would be 2 times square root of 4 is 2 times root 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 root 2, uh, 15 root 2s minus 4 root 2s leaves us 11 root 2s. All right, and this last one, who we? Uh, well, let's see, we've got the 2 here, square root of 8, we can break that into a 4 and a 2. Square root of x squared, we know what that is. So this would be uh, 2 times square root of 4 is 2. Square root of x squared is x uh, times the square root of 2. 2 times 2 is 4. So this would be the same as 4x root 2. All right. We've already got a 5x here. Uh, 32 is 16 times 2. Square root of 16 is 4. 5 times 4 is 20, so this would be 20x square root of 2. Oh, nice. Things are in terms of square root of 2. And then this one, I'm just going to pull this x out. Square root of x squared is x. I've got 5x squared of 18. 18 is 9 times 2. Square root of 9 is 3. So 5 times 3 is 15x square root of 2. Great, and so notice all these terms are in terms of x root 2, x root 2, x root 2. So I've got 4 of them, minus 20 of them, plus 15 of them. Let's see, 4 plus 15 is 19, minus 20 is negative 1. So negative 1, x root 2. Give those problems a try. If you have any questions, post them in the forums or message me.